The next drug that we're looking at is pharmacology is the drug known as what? Evamectin. So we're looking at the pharmacology of Evamectin. All right. And you can see here we have different pictures of Evamectin. Different pictures of Evamectin. So how we'll be discussing this drug is we'll talk about different types of disease condition that this drug has a cure for. We'll look at how it works. Look at the available forms, how it works, the mechanism of action, right? Look at the common side effects. Then look at the serious side effects. Then some important things to note for this EVA mectin drug. All right. So for the definition, we say that EVA mectin is an antiparasitic medication. So antiparasitic, that means it has an action on parasites, okay? So it's an antiparasitic medication used to treat various infections caused by parasites. And examples of these infections is, pay attention here, we have the onchocerciasis, all right, also known as river blindness. It has an effect on strongyloidiasis. This is intestinal worm infection. It has an effect on scabies, that skin infections. It has what, uh, an effect on what, lymphatic filariasis, that's what, also known as what, elephantitis elephantiasis sorry elephantiasis it also has an effect on what malaria in combination with other medication because i came across this drug when i was reading about malaria okay so it also has an effect with malaria most of the times when it's combined with other medication all right so looking at this mechanism of action now it acts by what paralyzing the parasite now this will lead to the death or expulsion of that parasite because let me tell you guys, as the parasite in the, is in the body, various mechanisms are trying to expel this parasite from the body. But because this parasite can be able to move, it's mobile, it can be dodging this mechanism. Do you understand? So if you paralyze this parasite, you keep it in one place. They can help this mechanism what? Expel it or even kill it, okay? It also inhibits parasite reproduction it reduces the inflammation and immune system uh, response, okay? Because one thing is, it will now reduce the work for the immune system, right? The parasite is already paralyzed. So the immune system, their work will now be halfway to just go and expel it, okay? Um, available forms, it could be available in oral tablets or capsules. It could be available in topical creams or lotions for skin infections. It could be available in what? Injectable solutions. That's for veterinary use. That's for animals, right? Okay. Common side effects. This drug, in as much as it has a crazy war to wage on parasites, has some side effects, which could include what? Gastrointestinal upset. The patient can be complaining about they want to vomit or they are probably vomiting or they are purging. All right, it could cause headaches, it could cause dizziness, it could cause fatigue, it could cause skin rash and itching. Okay, serious side effects include allergic reactions, neurological problems like confusion, seizures, or coma. But these ones are usually come in when there's a long term use of the drug. Okay, there's increased risk of death in patients with severe liver disease. Why? Because you take this drug and the drug has to pass through the liver for first pass effect. So if you already have an underlying liver disease, then the first pass effect is not uh, um, put on the drug, okay? So the drug is now more toxic, do you understand? Okay, so important notes is that Evamectin is not approved for COVID-19 treatment or prevention, all right? It is used only under medical supervision as incorrect use can lead to serious harm Veterinary formations are not suitable for human use. So Evamectin is into the one use for veterinary purposes, the one use for human purposes. So don't mix it up, okay? So I think that's it for the pharmacology of this drug.